Once upon a time, I thought it was a great idea to get on a saddle bronc horse. <clears throat> I was about 16 years old, and I was high school rodeoing with the guy that rode bronc horses, and uh, me and my best friend Jeremy College, shout out, go like his page on uh, Facebook, professional bull rider Jeremy College, hell of a hand. And uh, we decided we was gonna be bronc tamers, and we was gonna go ahead and try to be all around hands, because we thought we were badasses and had little to actually no backup in us at all. So we went over to Buddy's mine house, and uh, that's where it started. I had bacon and eggs for breakfast. It was a cool, crisp morning, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we was gonna get on Saddle Bronx. And uh, he had a big 16 hand black horse that uh, was an old saddle horse that he'd buck if you dang sure put him in a buck and shoot and put a little flank in him. So we got on him, and uh, boy, I tightened. I was going through all the stuff and how to do it all, and bull riding, I wore my shafts very loose and comfortable and never really thought about it. Saddle Bronx riding, I had to suck these shafts up as tight as I could get them that was crazier than hell that hurt by itself just tightening my shafts up and then i had to rosin my saddle and make myself sticky and you know lord knows i needed all the help i could get so i rosin my saddle i'm pushing my swells through my shafts and that hurt like hell i'm not used to that at all it hurt the hell out of my groins so i thought my gosh these saddle bronc riders are tough man i ain't even been on i ain't even sat on a horse yet and i'm already sore i'm already limping around behind the bucking shoots anyway long story longer i get on this son of a gun and uh and I'm gonna try this sucker. And uh, the first thing I come to realize is that uh, I'm I'm feeling it, boy. I'm shaking like dog shit and peach sheet, and I'm feeling good about it. And I feel like I'm gonna go at this sucker with all my might. I get down on this sucker and I sit down in the saddle. And here's the top rail of the buck and shoot. I'd never been three foot above the top rail of the buck and shoot before on a 16 hand fire breathing dragon. So I go ahead and I try not to think about it too much. Boy, I suck my hat all down tight, nice and snug, and I freaking really, I remember him just saying, lift and shove your feet out there and make your mark out. So boy, I'm really lifting. Go ahead, let me at him. I made my mean old ugly face. Boy, I gritted my teeth so hard, I probably chipped a tooth. Go ahead, let me at him. Come out of there. Boy, I thought I slung my feet up there above his shoulders and uh, made my mark out, but I didn't. And uh, when I went to rake back for the first time and started trying to gather him up, I blew my pedal out, and so I kind of contemplated on how I'm going to react to this situation. I didn't have no pickup men or no pickup guys or anything like that. We was just trying to be handy. I had an old boy in the arena that grew up saddle bronc riding. Is gonna, we was going to go ahead and slip off on him. That was the idea, and uh, went out there, and, and uh, boy, I couldn't get this sucker slowed up for nothing. I made two laps around the arena telling everybody that I blew my pedal out. Before I could finally get this sucker woed up, slide off on Tommy Mitchell, shout out, rank son of a gun, and uh, get off. And I've never been so shook up in my life. Like, I was like, I mean, I couldn't walk. I was having a freaking stand up seizure. As a lot of adrenaline, a lot of pain. I got on one horse. I was sore for about three weeks. Long story short, my hat's off with my bald head, my receding hairline to all you bad son of a guns, the saddle bronc riders, the classic event, my favorite event. Hats off to you guys. I don't think anybody really understands how tough you guys really are, especially getting on multiple horses in one night. I promise you, I was a sore son of a gun. So that was my one time getting on a saddle bronc horse. My buddy Jeremy College got on him uh, the next day after I did. He made a couple jumps out there, seen the fence coming awfully fast, and decided to make a quick panic move and jump for the fence. And he got about right here before his foot caught in the stirrup. And the next thing you know, he would whoop. He was out of there and dragging on his belly and his boot kind of finally came off. So me and Jeremy had come to the conclusion that we were not saddle bronc riders and we're just going to go ahead to sticking and getting on bulls. Hats off to you saddle bronc riders. Y'all are rank.